Originally, I thought process was just like you because God put that on all of us, right? But he also put it on us to read his words and we can see the solution to that fear. Here's the solution. Let every soul be subject unto the higher, the higher power. So we have to be subject to the higher power. Governments, police, right? Understand their position and why they're here. They're here because if somebody stab you in the stomach and they call 911 and they get here, what do you think they're gonna do? Are they gonna sit there and watch you bleed or are they gonna put on gloves? They might. Put on gloves. Read it again. Yes, sir. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. But that's the key. Be subject to the higher power. Don't, when they ride past, don't give them the bird the middle finger. Grab your crotch and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw rocks at their patrol car. Nah, be subject. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. So God put them there to protect you. Protect you from who? Might you say. From who do I need protection from? Amir? Read. Read. The powers that be are ordained of God. So God ordained the patrol car to be in this neighborhood. For this reason, bro. For this reason. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. So when you turn your back on the police and you say, you know what, F them. I hate all of them. Now, some of them are bad. Some of them are good. But I gave you an example. If you bleed out, are they going to put them gloves on? If you got robbed, are they going to take your information, your report? If you, if you have someone you love got murdered, are they going to conduct an investigation to help you do something that you can't physically do on your own? Yes. Yes. Right. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So we can't resist that. So I had a thought in my mind. Right, read it. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good work. So they're going to do what God tells them to do. Right? Rulers are not a terror to good works. Meaning, if you're doing good works, we ain't got no reason to fear. If you ain't selling drugs, if you ain't if you ain't carrying something illegal, if you ain't breaking the law, read that part again. The rulers, excuse me, for rulers are not a terror to good work. But they are a terror to those to those people out here selling drugs. They are terror to them. They scared of the police. They scared of the police. But to the evil, because they evil. But the Most High God put him in your community to protect you. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good. So you got to do what's good and you'll be fine. Right? Don't. Because the reason why God put him here is for those who are not doing good. We're going to get that in Hosea 4 and 1. And thou shalt have praise of the same. You're going to have praise in the sand. They're going to see you. They're going to say, oh, yeah, that's that's a good one right there. He, he, he good to go. What is good? You know what I'm saying? He good to go. Right? Go ahead and get that for me, Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy of Israel. Excuse me. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. So it ain't none of that out here. Right? It's, it's cutthroat out here. It's every person for their self. That's what it is out here. You know what I'm saying? You don't trust your, you don't trust people you don't know out here. Sometimes you might say what's up to somebody and say, what you mean what's up? That happens. What you doing? What you doing wearing that black bandana? What you doing with that? You rep that, you rep that set. That happens. And they be serious about it. Right or wrong? Read. Verse 2. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing. That's why the terrorists, that's why the police are out here. Because of that. Read it again. By swearing and lying and stealing, lying. 
You want a flyer? I ain't seen nothing. You want a flyer? I don't know who shot uh, Poop. Uh, okay, I don't know who shot JJ. Right. I'll don't know who Ray TT. Read again. By swearing LA. It's lots of lying out here. Lots of lying. And killing. Lots of killing out here. Now all these people who are swearing, who are lying, who are killing, do you honestly believe that they are going to get the kingdom of heaven? You're right. They won't. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Give me that. Because this plagues our community, especially the young youth. Is it Matthew 26 or what? Read that. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. No one righteous is going to inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fool. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicator. Meaning people sleeping around with girls. Right? It right? ain't your wife. No idolaters. People, you worshiping stuff that ain't God. No adulterers. Committing adultery. You got a wife and you're sleeping around. Sleeping with somebody else's wife. No effeminate. No going around here walking like you sweet, like you saucy. You know what I'm saying? Boys, like they saucy these days. Right. I looked at something online. It was it was six broad boys about your age. They was all saucy. They was, they was gay. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Yeah, that's that's doing uh crack cocaine, homosexuality, dildo, all that stuff in anal uh, abominations. No thieves, no covetous. So don't be stealing. No drunkards. And don't be covetous of somebody else's stuff. And don't be out here being a drunk like these examples you see out here. No revilers. Don't be out here starting trouble. No extortioners. Don't be trying to come up on somebody for some money. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Because they, you won't get the kingdom of God if you do that. If you have those, those characteristics. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.